This is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical and we're here at the 2019 Shooting, Hunting and Outdoor Trade Show and we're in the Mile High Shooting Accessories booth with Tony Burks from Tab Gear and Tony's going to talk to us a little bit about a new sling he's got going on. Tony? Hi John, thanks a lot, I appreciate the time. So this is what we're calling our Pinnacle Rifle Sling or our PRS Sling. We've had it on the market about three years or so. So I'll give you a quick rundown of the features and give you a demo. Okay. So you can get it two, two ways, with the swivel sewn in or with the swivel loosened where you can easily change out the swivels if you need to. Uh, this particular model is sewn in. We put a piece of scuba webbing in between the swivel and the first buckle, and that makes the what we call the tail very stiff. So it helps use it as a monopod to support the rifle if you don't have a rear bag. Okay. We've got two buckles on the sling. In which I'll demonstrate, sometimes you can reach one buckle, sometimes you can't reach one buckle. That's why we have two. So you can reach a buckle no matter how you carry the rifle. Muzzle in the front, muzzle in the back, up or down, doesn't matter. We've also got a loop made out of the same webbing that's in between the buckles. So if you have a carabiner, you can clip into that carabiner, use it as a support on barricades or tripods as you clip into it tighten it up with the with the front adjustment and run the hips back it sucks everything down nice and tight into the uh, barricade uh, with the cobra buckles we sew them in so you're not going to break a cobra buckle if a guy purchased a fast x buckles it they are not sewn in so if you broke one you could change it okay. easily this particular sling does not have an arm loop and because of talking to law enforcement military snipers and myself just shooting matches I found that uh, nobody uses an arm sling except in dedicated when you're practicing and nobody in call outs or deployments that I've ever found that has ever done that. So we remove that, which when we removed the sling, the sw uh, loop, it gave us a lot of adjustment up front, which allowed me to remove a, a lot of the length of carry webbing in between the buckles. So we're always trying to remove as much from the sling as possible. The piece of webbing that uh, loosens the tension on the sling is double wet layered it's got a big bar tack so it makes a nice big knot so it's easy to grab and then we've also got another hard point in the front so if you've ever shot in a Hawkins position on the ground and it's hard to get enough height on a rifle well this will allow you to get another inch or so and it, it'll support your rifle no problem okay so give you a quick demo of it all right so I'm carrying the rifle in a patrol carry which is pretty common for a precision rifle and so if you'll imagine that my body is in the arm loop similar to taking the time if you have an arm loop on the rifle that's kind of what I describe to people so if you're carrying it in patrol carry and you need to take a quick standing slung up shot you simply bring the rifle up tighten the sling and now you're in a standing slung up shot again you can loosen it quickly so if you're t carrying it right like here and you need to go to putting the rifle over the back with the muzzle up and simply grab the rifle, throw it over the back. And now this allows me to tighten it down. So here's where I can demo that the need for one of the buckles in the middle of the chest. So this is the buckle that's in the center of the sling. You can easily re reach in if you need to release the rifle. But also to release the rifle, say I I've got it over my back like this, and now I need to take a kneeling shot. This actually releases the rifle. This totally loosens the rifle, but I maintain control as I hold it on to the release tab. As I reach and back to grab the rifle, I can drop it as the rifle slings over, and I drop down into a kneeling position. We simply tighten the sling up, and now we're slung up. The placement of the buckle, adjustment buckle, is what I call the critical adjustment, which you use from the adjustment at the front swivel. And I like to tell people to adjust it so that you can loosen and tighten the sling while you're on glass. Okay? So say you took a shot, you need to get up and move. So I can loosen the sling, I'll stand up. Again, you can throw the rifle over the back, tighten it up and move. So from here, I've sti I still haven't come out of the patrol carry. So let me go back around to the front. We transitioned into the patrol carry. So now, you can, like I showed, you can stand up and do a, a slung up standing shot. You can also go all the way down to an unsupported prone. Still in the patrol carry. 
Tighten the sling. And there's your unsupported prone shooting. Also down here we can demonstrate what I was talking about, the Hawkins position. So you can see that the rifle is now able to rest on that while you're able to take your shot there. Well, that's just a quick rundown on some of the positions and advantages of our PRS sling.